Hi guys, we're in the conservatory, it's raining outside, and I've got a request from Michael Jones to make a rubber band washing basket. Well, there's a bit of a problem there because there's all sorts of different types of washing baskets. Got this one that my wife is using and I don't have permission to do anything to. So that's one example of a washing basket. I've been looking around Poundland and Pound World to see if I could find anything else suitable and nothing of this sort of size. So, <laughs> I know it's not quite the same thing, but I've got some plastic storage baskets here. They came from Pound World, two for a pound. So I'm going to use one of those. I've got some pizza trays. That's what our pizzas come on from the supermarket. Got a couple of bamboo skewers. And I've got an old washing up glove. So the plan is to do that for the back axle and the front axle. Don't even need to drill any holes because those will hold them in place. Might need to use some packing pieces though to stop the wheels rubbing against the side of the basket. For the wheels, I'm going to draw circles with a compass in the middle of here, about the size of a CD, uh, so that's about five inches roughly. So I'll draw eight circles and use two circles for each wheel. Because these are slightly dished or bowed, I'll be able to use two opposite bows for a single wheel. I don't know if I'll tape them together, glue them together, or just hope they stay together. Because I'm going to use the washing up glove, cut it into strips, and put it round the outside of the wheel to give it a bit of extra grip. But also it may help hold them together. So I'll try that first. If that doesn't work, then we'll have to glue it. Glue, glue the wheels, that is. So that's what I'll do. Well, for those of you who like decimal coinage, uh, that's six centimeters I've got that set to, which is just under two and a half inches. There we are. That's our wheel. The only thing is I think it's going to slide on the axle, so I might have to put some sticky tape around there just to stop it slipping. That's a nice looking wheel, I think. This will be the problem. The wheel is rubbing against the bodywork, so I'm going to have to cut some small pieces to go down here and push it out a bit. I need some rubber bands. Right, rubber band over, roll it round so it goes underneath itself. 
<laughs> the wheel's fallen off. Might have to put some sticky tape on there to make sure they don't come off. I'll put some sticky tape over them. Now for a test run. I'll try and chase it with the camera. Well that worked. That's about eight meters we did there. I wonder if we can do it in the opposite direction. It seemed to go a little bit right, so I'm pointing it left. Perfect. Job done. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a plastic storage basket from Pound World. Then we've got two barbecue skewers for the axles. And I made the wheels from polystyrene pizza trays. Each wheel is two pieces two circles and I've cut up a rubber glove into strips and used that to hold the two pieces together. So there's eight discs in total, two for each wheel. I put a bit of extra sticky tape just across the wheel and round the axle just to stop it slipping on the axle. And then I cut up lots of small pieces of pizza tray just to give us some spacing there to stop the wheels rubbing against the bodywork. No glue used and just scissors. And that's it. Done.